Okay, so kita pergi lagi soalan. Okay, we try more questions. Okay, so to understand better the stitching part. Okay, I would like to give this question to you to do by your own, uh, and I will explain uh, how to do it. Uh, simple concept. Okay, stitching part pattern on the straight edge of a gear is done by sewing machine. So abaikanlah uh, apa apa je. The particle initial velocity is 20. Okay, so the initial velocity. So when you get this initial velocity, so you terus tulis V. Uh, my color is not facing V. V. Okay, uh, V. Okay, V. V no uh, is equal to 20, or you can write T zero. V dia adalah dua puluh. Okay. Uh, the accelerations given by okay so that's the accelerations okay after passing through a fault okay so maknanya sampai kat satu titik itulah okay satu lipatan okay calculate so this is the s kosong dia kat sini lah calculate the intensity velocity of the swing okay so you buat macam biasa saja integrate so after you integrate you get the value of c Okay, then you substitute lah. So, how to get the value of C? So, C ni maklumat yang you dapat lah. Okay, try to do this question number 4 eh. Okay, A. Intensely velocity of the swing when the acceleration is 0. So, you just ganti 0 kat sini. Okay, then apa you buat? Dapat the value T. After you get the value of the T, you akan substitute dalam V yang you dapat dekat A tadi. Okay, uh, so C... C pun sama the time acceleration is ni ok so ganti lah acceleration dia 5 you can find the T and lastly for question D the value of T in second when the velocity swing ok so you cari you 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 use back the integration uh, the value of the function V in part A ok then you substitute with 11 then you come out with the value of t. So you try by your own and ask me in the group if you have a problem. Okay, you need to try it by your own. Okay, so I would like to see your response uh, dekat group lah. Okay, now. So number that this question. Okay, a particle pass a fixed point O with initial velocity sama juga. This is t0. V dia 30 Move along a straight line with a particle Okay, so calculate The velocity when T Okay, so sama saja basically Ni pun you boleh buat terus Okay, nak you buat terus Where is uh, Where Okay, so question A Settle B Dia tanya Where is the particle When T is equals to 1 Okay, particle ni duduk kat mana Bila T dia 1 So, bila dia sebut where is refer to the S value S dia berapa ok so uh, saya tunjuk sikit saja. ok so kita ada value V from the integration ok 60 dt so you did integrate dulu you akan dapat 12t minus 60 square over 2 plus C Okay, so you can use this to get C kita 30 juga. Okay, so daripada sini, you dah dapat ni. Okay, so you nak dapat where, where meaning that this displacement, so you integrate pula V sekarang. So, you integrate V yang you ada ni. Okay. Still, you have value C. Akan ada C juga. So, how to get C? Okay. So, you kena baca balik information tu betul-betul. Particle pass through fixed point. A which initial velocity ni. Okay. So, bila dia pass through fixed point O ni. Maknanya S dia kosong lah sini. Okay. T dia kosong. Okay, so so kadang-kadang kita kena baca balik and use the information to solve these questions. Okay, so then you ganti T1 lah kat situ. 
okay so for question this question a particle move you try buat dan dapatkan jawapan dia saya akan bagi jawapan dalam group okay a particle move okay ni saya akan bagi jawapan jap eh okay so ni soalan nombor 4 lah Okay, saya akan beri jawapan di soalan nombor 5. Ni as questions number 5. Okay, so then tengok soalan ni. Okay. A particle move along a straight line and pass through a fixed point O at the T second after pass O in the velocities given by this one. Okay. Calculate the initial accelerations of the particle. Okay, initial acceleration of the particle. Uh, so, macam mana you nak buat? You ada V. You nak dapat initial accelerations. So, you derive lah. Uh, so, yang ni jangan takut lah. Sepatutnya you settle lah. You derive. Okay. Uh, so, you derive it dV dt. So, you akan dapat 24 minus 12t lah. So, initial accelerations, meaning that, uh, T dia 0 lah. Uh, so, yang tu kena tahu the meaning. Initial acceleration ni, maknanya T dia 0. Okay, so now, find the value of T when the acceleration is 0. So, yang ni ganti 0 lah, you get back the information. And the value of T. So, saya nak you buat soalan ni. Uh, and the value of t when the particle is at O again. Okay, ni when the particle is at O again, it refer to bila dia O, refer to as the zero. Okay, and when the particle, so t dia berapa? Uh, okay, so try juga soalan ni. Uh, saya nak you try ok and dalam which in the moment lah ok then you can submit lah bila dah dapat jawapan tu semua saya beri jawapan you try submit ok uh, and lastly for today this is the questions ok uh, I may explain it ok so a particle move along a straight line pass through a fixed point O with a velocity with a velocity of negative 12 ok, so maknanya particular pass through fixed point O so S dia S 0 V dia negative 12 over there and dia ada A dia terus dia bagi so A dia negative 10 dia memang bagi tu ada 3 benda dia bagi Bila pass through fixed point O with a velocity dia ni and acceleration dia ni. Okay. After T second, pass through, the acceleration is given this. Okay. The particle stop internally. Okay, dia stop pula. Dia stop. Bila dia stop ni, maknanya apa? Maknanya V dia kosong, T dia enam. Okay, so banyak maklumat yang ada tu. Okay, it's quite uh, long question lah. Okay, now, as assume the motion to the right is positive, the value of M and N. Okay, so kita buat biasa dulu. Okay, sekarang kita guna A yang kita ada ni. So, A is equals to M plus NT. Okay, so dia beritahu dah. Okay, bila A dia negatif 10, nampak ni. Dia pass through this Ok so bila dia sebut pass through this thing Maknanya T dia kosong lah ni So A dia negative 10 T nya adalah 0 So therefore kita akan dapat negative 10 equals to M plus So kita dapat M, M lah So settle dah 10 situ Ok so rewrite back Kita akan dapat negative 10 plus nt. Okay, now kita integrate sebab ada maklumat juga v12, kita pun ada maklumat juga kat sini. So kita guna mana-mana pun tak ada kisah. 
tapi we need to integrate it ok so kita akan dapat negative 10 plus n t dt so bila kita integrate a kita akan dapat v which is negative 10 t plus n t square over 2 plus c so maklumat ni boleh guna maklumat ni pun boleh guna ha, kalau maklumat ni t dia kosong kan ni so t kosong v dia negative 12 so t kosong v dia negative 12 so therefore c dia pun negative 12 so t 0 v negative 12 c pun kita akan dapat negative 12 ok so therefore our function akan dapat lah v equals to negative 12 negative 10 t plus n t square over 2 minus 12 ok so dapat macam ni lah so you dapat kat situ ok so dah dapat situ negatif 12 kita gunakan maklumat next question next information v0 t 12 so bila v dia 0 t dia adalah 12 so v0 t dia adalah 12 kan eh sorry t dia 6 mana pula data 12 saya mana uh, wandering around ok so you akan ganti lah 0 is equals to negative 10 times 6 plus n 6 square over 2 minus 12 so kat sini dapat negative 60 kat sini dapat 36 divided by 2 36 divided by 2 is 18 n minus 12 so 18 n is equals to 72 n is equals to 72 divided by 80 you akan dapat 4 so therefore kita punya function akan jadi a is equals to negative 10 t sorry negative 10 plus 4 t betul ke tak negative 10 plus 4 t ok so dah dapat So, dapatlah value M dengan N. Walaupun panjang tapi itulah uh, konsep sahaja. Tak ada benda yang uh, susah pun dengan ni. Okay, so the minimum velocity. Macam saya kata tadi, minimum velocity kita dah pernah buat. Minimum velocity meaning that what? Meaning A dia adalah 0. So, kita gunakanlah tadi. Negative A is 0. Therefore, negative 10 plus 4 t is equals to 0 sorry 0 4 t is equals to 10 t is equals to 2.5 4 divided by 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 so boleh ke t 2.5 tak ada masalah is the time so ganti balik dalam velocity kita so velocity bila t sama dengan ni tengok balik maklumat kita dah ada Okay, negative 10 t negative 10 times 2.5 plus is it plus plus betul plus 4 uh, ni 4 lah n kita 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 lah uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2 so 2 t square sorry so our t is 2.5 square and lastly minus 12 ok so kat sini kita akan dapat negative 25 plus 2.5 square dulu time by 12.5 minus 12 so kita akan dapat V minimum kita adalah negative 25 plus 12.5 minus 12 so kita dapat negative 24.5 so ni adalah untuk maklumat yang tu ok and lastly total distance ok total distance for this questions 
Okay, ini benda you dah buat dalam the first subtopic. Uh, okay, so total distance in the first 9 second, you kena tahu S lah. So, you kena tahu S. So, kita akan integrate lah our V. Okay, kita integrate our V. Saya so, rewrite back our V. V kita adalah negative 10 T plus our N is 4. So, 2t square minus 12 lah. This is our v. Okay, so kita nak dapatkan this uh, total total distance. Okay, so kita kena cari displacement. So integrate lah. Negative 10 t plus 2t square minus 12t t. So here we you will get negative 10 t square over 2 plus 2t cube over 3 minus 12t plus c integrate mesti ada c so macam mana nak dapat c ni ok baca balik maklumat kat atas ni nampak ok so bila dia ni uh, ni lupa nak tulis ni uh, bila t dia 0 bila dia lalu s dia 0 so bila t 0 S dia 0. So, therefore, our C pun 0. Nampak? C pun 0. So, S kita akan dapat negative 5T plus 2T cube over 3 minus 12T. Okay. So, dia minta total distance in the first time second. So, kita kena cari bila dia stop. Dia tukar direction. Okay. So, bila dia stop tukar direction is V kita kosong lah ok, you kena ingat ni eh? change direction tu change direction meaning that dia akan stop so which is V kosong ok so V kosong so kita dapatkan lah balik V kosong kita tadi so kalau V kosong kita ambil je kat sini equation velocity kita sekejap uh, ok so V equals to 0 so therefore negative 10 T plus 2t square minus 12 is equal to 0 so kita rearrange and divide by 2 so t square minus 5t minus 6 is equal to 0 so t minus sorry t minus 6 t plus 1 equals to 0 so t is equal to 6 lah. t equals to negative 1 so yang ni tak terima ni tak nak, so ni okay, bila dia tukar direction T dia 6 ok, so T dia 6 so bila T 6 kita akan tahu uh, dia punya displacement lah ok, so panjang sikit soalan ni uh, kita dah ada ni, maknanya that dia nak, the question want you to find the distance for the first 9 second so kita tahu kalau kita draw sikit ok so bila T dia 0 kita dah tahu kita dah dapat maklumat sini T dia 0, S dia 0 lah ok so S dia 0, dia start kat sini lah ok so bila T dia 6 dia akan tukar direction so kita carilah bila T 6 saya potong sini Bila T dia 6, S dia berapa? Ok, so kita ganti dia 6 kat sini, kita akan dapat negative 5 times 6 plus 2 power times 6 power of 3 over 3 plus ke minus negative 12. Minus 12. 12t 12t so 12 times 6 so you will get negative 30 kat sini 
Yang ni you get 6 power of 3 divided by 3 times 2. So you dapat 144 minus 12 times 6. 72. So kita akan dapat negative 30 plus 144 minus 72. You akan dapat 42 lah. So displacement 42 bila T dia 6 So maknanya dia tak tukar direction ni Daripada sini dia tak uh, What I mean by tak tukar direction Daripada T kosong sampai T 6 Dia akan pergi ke S uh, 42 So masa ni T dia 6 So particle dia duduk sini Then dia tukar direction Ke sana balik Okay tapi kita tahu sejauh mana kita kena cari dulu. Uh, kita kena cari bil apa? Kita kena cari T dia 9, S dia berapa? So, S dia berapa bila T 9? Negative 5 times 9 plus 2 times 9 power of 3 over 3. Times 9 Okay, minus 12T Okay Oh, saya tertinggal Oh, saya tertinggal square Saya tertinggal square rupanya Kat sini ni nampak ha? so, Kat sini salah dah tadi Square Kira balik uh, Square salah So, 6 square Times 5 So, sini dapat negative 180. Negative 180 plus kat sini dapat 6 power of 3 times 2 divided by 3. So, sini dapat 144. Kat sini dapat 12 times 6. Dapat 72. Nah, dapat negative sepatutnya. Negative 180 plus 144 minus 72. Dapat negative 108 Negative 108 Sorry So hati-hati ya Ni square tertinggal Perasan nasib baik perasan Nice So kat sini 81 times 5 You dapat negative 405 Plus 9 power of 3 Times 2 Divide by 3 You dapat 4 8 6 Minus 12 times 9 Dapat 105 Nombor dia besar-besar sikit So negative 405 Plus 4 8 6 Minus 108 You dapat Negative 27 So saya redraw balik Salah ni Ok Maknanya bila Bila, bila T dia kosong Dia duduk kat S kosong So then dia move to the left Sampailah dia T6 T6 dia dapat 108 So 108 kat sini So masa T dia 6 So dia stop sini Then dia patah ke sana balik until negative 27 until negative 27 so masa ni t dia 9 so dia stop sini so you carilah total distance dia semua sekali kat sini 108 kat sini 27 so yang ni berapa panjang dia 108 minus 27 So, dapat 81. So, total distance dia. Total distance dia adalah 108 plus 81. So, habis. One eight nine. So, stop. Okay. So, you buat summary balik. 
apa you kena buat, you buat soalan ni, soalan ni dan soalan ni yang saya dah explain. Okay, tiga soalan tu. Tiga soalan you try buat. Dan you hantar submit lah. By today juga. That's all. Bye. Okay, ada apa-apa boleh tanya dalam grup. Jangan kata bila rekod dah upload kat YouTube ni, kata you cannot ask. Yes, you can, you can ask. Saya rekod ni supaya senang. Okay, so that's all.